Uh, things have changed. I put here that the ownership, the title, and the deed, those changed a long time ago, but I want to clarify that the deed, the title, the ownership remains with the homeowner, remains with the homeowner always. So don't forget that is so important because maybe 50 years ago that may not have been true, but by golly, the title, the deed, I call it the pink slip to your home, is the homeowner, not the bank. The bank has nothing to do with anything except they want the I word. It's in the alphabet. The I word in the alphabet stands for interest. All lenders loan money to get interest. So the lender on a reverse mortgage is still gonna earn the I word, interest. The heirs are protected without liability. The son, the daughter, whoever's in the living trust or the will, they have no liability, no risk. They can't lose. I mean, they don't owe money because it's mom and dad's home. Prepayments, prepayments, this is kind of exciting. They're allowed. There's some seniors who call me up two years later and they go, you know what? I noticed that my balance, like you promised, would go up, up, up. Well, I wanted to go flat or go down. Can I make a voluntary prepayment? Yes, that's allowed. That's a good change that's kind of fun. Safeguards, counseling does a suitability test. You have to call a telephone counselor. You can also go in person if you want, but FHA and HUD mandates that you get a telephone counseling session where you can kind of review things and go over you know, any of the guidelines and the changes, and most importantly, go over the numbers that a approved mortgage broker, an approved mortgage bank will give you. Because once I give the numbers, you have to take the numbers, go to a counselor independently, and they assess the, uh, I call it the suitability of a reverse to make sure that you're happy with it, that it fits your lifestyle and allows you to live comfortably possibly in your home forever. The fees are capped, loan amounts are lower now than before. So technically it's a safer loan for the bank, but the loan amounts compared to the value of the home have gone down a bit. So we call it loan to value ratio, the loan amount compared to the value. Those have gone down, interest rates have gone up. The equity line grows which is kind of exciting. When you don't use the credit line, the equity line in a reverse mortgage, the unused portion grows and gets bigger. It gets better. It gets more gorgeous. It gets prettier. It gets uh, <laughs> more attractive. To me, the analogy, and I do these in my live seminars at the restaurants, I will literally bring Jiffy Pop popcorn and I have two miniature micro stoves and I say, take a look here. If you don't turn the heat up on the Jiffy Pop, what happens to the foil, to the popcorn? Does anything happen? And the answer is no. But with a reverse mortgage, it works like Jiffy Pop, where the tin foil grows, expands, and the popcorn gets bigger. The popcorn gets bigger. That's how the equity line works is the equity line each and every year when you don't use it rewards you and gets bigger, better, and more attractive. It's really kind of cool. It helps extend the longevity of your time in your home. And we'll talk about the number one and number two reasons people get reverse mortgages. We call them the alpha and the omega reasons. Living trust gets reviewed. If you're in a living trust, the title, the vesting, the deed stays in the living trust. We review it to make sure it's safe and that you're protected. Sometimes in the old days or the olden days, lenders would take it out of the living trust and promise, <laughs> like a Boy Scouts promise, oh, we'll put it back in later and then they forget. So then all of a sudden you got probate taxes to pay, etc. no fun. Another big change, exciting change, the realtors right now are keeping me busy. In fact, on this call now, 18 out of 27 people are realtors because of number five there. You can buy a home with a reverse mortgage. A senior can, we call it right sizing. Some call it downsizing. We call it right sizing. 
the senior can sell their home at the top of the market and then right size, downsize and buy something a little bit more inexpensively with a reverse mortgage. So it's kind of cool to buy a home because you'll get no monthly payment required. You'll qualify for a bigger home on your downsize with buying a home.